Hello and welcome to another video for Minus Touch Toys, Games and Collectibles. And today we're looking at a 2006 release by Character Options from their Doctor Who series of action figures. And this particular set we are looking at today is an action figure set and it consists of the Doctor and the remote control K9 as seen in the TV episode School Reunion um, in 2006 which starred David Tennant as the Doctor, Billy Piper as uh, Rose Tyler and of course the late great Elizabeth Sladen as Sarah Jane Smith. Okay so this is the box that it comes in uh, and it's got BBC on the top right hand corner. It says featuring motorised canine movement, poseable uh, the Doctor figure, canine speech and sound FX, remote control handset with dual stick control um, and you've got affirm affirmative master and on the left hand side you can see an image of David Tennant, the 10th Doctor and the K9 and it says Doctor Who, the Doctor and RC K9. Uh, five and up, ages and you've got the character options logo on the bottom right hand corner. Okay, that's the front of the box. Let's spin the box around and see what we've got on the back. Okay, so I've turned the box around and this is what we've got on the back. It says Doctor Who, ages five and up. Uh, features motorized canine movement, poseable the doctor figure, canine speech and sound FX, remote control handset with dual stick control. And there you can see an image of the canine, remote control canine and the handset. And, and the, just underneath that, you've got an image of the TARDIS. Okay, and it says K9 is a mobile computer in the shape of a dog, constructed by Professor Marinus of a medical foundation to be a companion for him whilst in deep space. K9 is both a huge database and has defensive capabilities, being equipped with a retractable laser in his nose, which can be set to stun or kill. He can integrate with a variety of any computer system, including the TARDIS, and has been responsible for getting the Doctor out of many a tricky and dangerous situation. K9 tra travelled with the fourth Doctor in the TARDIS on many adventures and became a favourite companion. At some point, a newer version of K9 was constructed by the Doctor and left on Earth for which Sarah Jane Smith, a young journalist who had travelled on adventures with the th third and fourth Doctors. Uh, this K9 had many adventures with Sarah Jane on Earth and in space. Eventually, he shuts down being having become worn out and obsolete and is eventually reactivated when the 10th Doctor returns to Earth. And there you can see images of K9 from the TV episode School Reunion. Um, so it's frequency 27 megahertz and it says the Doctor and radio control K9, item number 01951, age grade five years and above. And on the very bottom, you've got the BBC logo and the copyright information. Okay, so that's the back of the box. If I turn the box to the side, what have we got on the side? So we can see we have, um, again, it says Doctor Who, canine features, motorized canine movement, canine speech and sound effects, canine control unit with canine styling, control unit features, dual stick movement, control and button activated, canine speech, and gun sound effects. And at the bottom it says Doctor and remote control canine. Okay, and I think it's exactly the same on the other side. Yes, it is. Okay, so that is the box. So without further ado now, let's, I think we're gonna open the box and have a look at the contents. Take it out and have a good look at the contents. And if I can, I might even put batteries in it and see how it works. Okay, so I have removed the inner packaging from the box and this is what we've got. So we've got the instructions here. It says Doctor Who, the Doctor Remote Control K9 contents, one radio control K9 unit. Uh, one control unit, opposable doctor action figure. And it says K9 requires one AAA battery not supplied on the hand, and the handset requires three AAA batteries not supplied. Um, and then you've got all the operating instructions and how to change the batteries and so on uh, in there. Installation of batteries, K9 sound of features, operating K9, the controller, and looking after your remote control unit. Uh, and on the back is troubleshooting. Okay, that's the instructions. Um, let's remove the box, the, the items from the um, plastic container and see what we've got. So, I don't want to damage this, so I need to be, in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna take it out off of camera so I don't cause any damage. 
Okay, so I've removed all of the uh, components from the, the plastic uh, holder, um, and this is what we got. So we've got the remote control unit. Now I have just inserted three batteries into the back of the remote control unit, and and there's a, the sound effects. So there's quite a few different sound effects there. And now I'm just about to insert a uh, battery into K9. So let's just undo the panel. If I can undo the panel correctly. I haven't, I don't think I've done it fully. So it must be open by now. Yeah, there we go. So there's the battery compartment. And I'm going to insert the battery in. That is negative there, positive that way. Um, and I, I'm assuming I'll need to close that back up for it to um, operate. There is a, a button on the side there and I'm assuming that it has to be pressed in in order for it to work. So let's, um, there we go, and switch him on. And let's see what we've got here. Let's like pull the area up so we can transmit. And what have we got? Oh, there we go. So there's K9. Let me move out of the way. That's backwards and forwards. Spins. There we go. And there. That's obviously the laser. Yeah, and you can you can pretty much make him do anything you want. Really, go any way you want. Backwards, forwards, sideways, spin. Um, yeah. <laughs> Climb all over the doctor. There we go. Okay, so that is the uh, remote control unit. Let me just put that back down again, um, and there we can see. Uh, K9. Now, let's just get some measurements here so you give you an idea of the size of this. So, K9 measures from tip of tail to end of nose uh, 10 centimeters. Now, I don't think his actual gun comes out of there. I haven't, I, it's not one that pushes in and pulls out. So, it is a, a pretty much a non functional one. There, there isn't any functionalities. The ears don't turn the tail doesn't really move it's just it's it's soft plastic so you can wiggle it yourself but it doesn't move otherwise um it is die cast metal um so it is nice and solid uh, the main body uh, obviously there's bits of plastic on it but the main body is is metal um and and then you've got the the wheels on the bottom here which are all linked to the remote, the remote control unit uh, and obviously that's the screw that you release to pop the, the panel off and to change the battery. So that is K9. So um, it was 10 centimeters long and he's from the top of his ears to the bottom of his wheel, he's about seven and a half centimeters. And width wise, widest point, we're looking at about four centimeters. So that gives you an idea of the size of K9. Remote control unit. Um, let's measure it from the back because it's easier. So we're looking at uh, 11 and a half centimeters. I, I haven't put the back panel back on that actually. I left it off to show you where the batteries go, but the back panel just uh, slots on there and screws in. So anyway, so it's 11 centimeters. And if we measure from the remote control unit there, we're looking at 10 centimeters. The aerial sp uh, unscrews, I've screwed it on so that we could operate the, the um, canine figure. Uh, but otherwise that does unscrew um, and it obviously it's expandable. And the doctor. So good points of articulation. So we've got shoulders, we've got the elbows, hands do not move, head moves. Uh, legs, yep, top of the legs and knee joints move. Waist, a little bit, but no great articulation there. Um, so it's really just tops of the legs, knee joints, head, arms, and elbows. So that's the articulation. Um, now, the 10th Doctor, as portrayed by David Tennant. 
stands 14 centimeters tall. Um, his widest point, which is from the width of his hands, is uh, just under seven centimeters. And depth wise, we're looking at about two, two and a half centimeters at the widest point. So that's the, the tenth Doctor figure um, as he appeared in the episode um, School Reunion in his um, pinstripe suit. Um, now, obviously, um, these figures now are getting on for uh, 20 years old. Well, 18, 18 years old, really, they are right, now, right at this moment. Um, quite difficult to find now, especially in this mint unused condition. Well, I say mint unused, I, I have used it now, but um, it is it's mint condition. It, uh, I was the first person to take it out of the pack, uh, first person to insert, insert the batteries and uh, to test the item. So, yeah, um, it's mint condition. Finding them like this is quite difficult now, um, especially um, in this unused mint condition. Um, again, in the original box um, with everything attached and the full instruction sheets. But as usual, we at Midas Touch have managed to find a few and they are currently available to purchase on the Midas Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we are uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I'm absolutely positive you're not gonna wanna miss this because we literally have thousands and thousands of new items which we are shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend. Or just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned. Keep watching. Because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again soon.